Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad and uh, this is going to be uh, Aries Sun, Aries Moon and uh, Aries Rising weekly tarot reading for um, March 25th to uh, March 31st, uh, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I, once again I want to remind you that this is going to be a, a general reading for uh, Aries' star sign. <clears throat> and for that reason, the reading is uh, going to resonate in a different way and as well in, in and as well in a different level with uh, every single different Aries. But uh, if you do want more personal touch, meaning you know your personal situation and worries and so on and so forth, to be uh, analyzed by me through tarot and to give you some predictions uh, for the future of your endeavors. That is a subject of a uh, private reading and for such uh, you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and on the very front page you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12. So that being said going to the Aries reading and the first uh, card which is marking the topic for Aries this week March 25th to March 31st 2019 that is to be the five of uh, wands followed by the second card here which is uh, the um, what will obstruct you throughout the week in a sense of what you should not do regarding the topic here we do have the uh, wheel of fortune followed by the third card which is the positive approach toward the situation your intentions you know and how you should um, approach the whole topic of the week that is the seven of pentacles and the last card that we do have it is the final outcome of growth. Should you follow here the guidance of Tarot with these couple of cards, that is going to be the world. So uh, once again, guys, <clears throat> five of uh, wands followed by the um, Wheel of Fortune. Then it is the seven of pentacles and the last one that we do have that is going to be the world card. So uh, uh, that is to be a, a good week in a sense of uh, a lot of dynamics uh, are to happen, a lot of surprises here with the five of pentacles that we do, with the five of wands that we do have. Um, unnerving circumstances as well are to, um, are to immerse uh, for throughout the week. But as well, uh, the five of uh, wands it is a very good it is a very good card traversing one situation, especially if the if the situation it's uh, a bit poignant and is not serving you a um, you know a good favor in the sense of that uh, a project is going down here, or relationship is on the rock, and so on and so forth. The thing with the uh, five of wands is that one should not be afraid to confront. Now with this card, uh, it's also very normal, some conflicts to arise here and there, some confrontations, but out of this, um, I would call it chaos a little bit, you know, or chaotic and chaotic environment, a, a new order, a new world order could be, uh, could sprinkle and could be, um, manifested there so you you have to look at this uh, card guys that throughout the dynamic of the week through the, the throughout the dynamic events of the week that many things could be restructured many strategies could be readopted and many positions and situations in general can be traversed toward more uh, favorable end uh, the accompanied card here this is going to be the four of uh, pentacles the formation that these cards are doing is uh, active neutrals so it does involve a little bit of an, an awkward incorporation of one's skills because with this specific formation it does look like that you should abandon a little bit comfortable positions either regarding career and either regarding a uh, relationship and it could be involving and all these um, actions of yours it could involve a little bit of a, a seemingly risk taken in a sense of that uh, with your uh, performance here either career or either relationship uh, it may seem that you are kind of like jeopardizing a, a solid and stable future and that you are not taking precautionary measures to sustain what you have already achieved the thing with these cards is that a, a new resolution of your problems, either, like I said, career or relationship, could happen only if you abandon a, a current existing uh, concepts and try things from a little bit of a different angle, be a little bit more creative with your approach regarding career 
and regarding the relationship in general, explore new options available and new opportunities. And as we said, exploring, exploring doesn't mean necessarily acting upon. And that is covered by the second and the third card here in the reading, which is the Wheel of Fortune, second card thing, which things which, which we should not do. And uh, the Wheel of Fortune in this case manifests as a premature, um, premature involvement in a sense of uh, that, you know, you have an opening and uh, you think that this is the best chance for you ever and therefore, you know, you invest into it, everything you got, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, just to find out that it was a bit wasted. In a sense of that, uh, with the five of wands at the, uh, at the very prime spot of the reading, it means that, that many opportunities or rather like many openings are to manifest. Therefore, you shouldn't kind of like rush to take the first one that comes around. So first example I'm going to give you here, guys, is let's say you want to buy yourself a car because, you know, you do have problems with your current one and uh, through, the, the, through the dynamic of the week, you know, a few offers comes around. And like I said, few offers comes around, they will have a gap or rather like a, you know, a margin of time in between one another. So when the first one comes around, that doesn't mean that you should buy it straight away, but you just explore the market, see if there are other fitting options for you and then decide which one you are to buy. That is just an, an example how the situation can traverse from your car, you know, making you problems, doesn't want to start at every morning and so on and so forth to finding buying a new car that is going to be suitable for you. That could relate as well career-wise, it could relate as well relationship-wise, it does depend what your situation is. But the thing with the Wheel of Fortune is that as soon as opportunities comes around or it presents itself to you, you know, you should not think that this is the only option available that you do have and that is the, uh, the lifetime opportunity that you do require in order to, you know, study your situation either career or either relationship-wise. The accompanied card with the Wheel of Fortune that is going to be the uh, Eight of Cups and the formation is uh, active, uh, active enemies. So uh, with the um, Eight of Cups here in this, uh, in this formation, the shade that it adds is that there is always something better. That should be the presumption that you, um, that you face the options available that this uh, week is giving to you at least to improve your relationship or to improve your career. And, uh, even, uh, and even if you are the, are the first couple of days, you're not seeing anything like it. I mean, you know, anything that stirs your situation in any way. Um, the Eight of Cups in this position does ask you to have more clamorous belief for the future. So uh, it's a bit tough to explain it to you guys, but I will try to um, give an example for it. It's not really an example, it's more elaborate explanation, I think, but um, let's say uh, you do face difficulty regardless in what kind of a field uh, of your life and suddenly, you know, you have an opening to improve your circumstances at a certain cost. And at that point, you should be concerned more about you, the cost that you are to pay for improving your circumstances and the way that you are going to improve your circumstances as well. The point here with these cards is that you shouldn't do anything uh, drastic uh, in a sense of, you know, the, um, the goal kind of justify the results because um, being more patient and not acting prematurely and frantically to uh, improve the state of your career or of your relationship is to, uh, is to bring you, if not a, a better option available, a better version of the current option available. That is well displayed here with the third card that we do have for you guys, that is the Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles as intentions, uh, the best possible approach to all the situation is to take a bit of a rest in the sense of that you shouldn't worry yourself or kind of like uh, spend a lot of time under the stress of the situation with the seven of pentacles you can definitely take some time off you know like a couple of days or maybe a couple of hours the seven of pentacles is all about how much we invest and how much we get out of it 
So uh, with this card in this um, in this position, it does point that there is a, a very very efficient way for you to improve either your career or to improve either your uh, your relationship. The circumstances for it are just lingering around the corner. One only needs to have the patience to wait for the right moment to immerse, and so one can take you know the full advantage of this uh, of this right moment and through the advantageous. Um, actions of uh, the correct time one will be able to reach maximum results with minimum effort the accompanied card with the seven of uh, pentacles that is going to be the uh, ace of cups formation is uh, passive friends and with that formation if you scope you know the right moment the right time um, and you do what is necessary at that point to um Basically, you know, basically to stir your situation. By the way, uh, how you should do it, you should, um, well, it does depend really on the, uh, on the situation. Uh, one example comes to my mind here, but I will tell you when I'm done with the interpretation of these cards. So uh, what points here is, guys, that should you find the best possible approach toward the situation here, which comes through patience and carefully analyzing how much you invest and how much you're going to get out of it. Uh, it does look that you are to provoke a um, unexpected good fortune in your life, career-wise or relationship-wise as well. Now, as I said, I will give you an example. Uh, these cards could point that you may want to kind of like improve the conditions into your relationship. And until this very moment, you couldn't by one or another reason. Well, uh, things could play out in a certain way. Your partner could face a lot of difficulties outside of the relationship. And that is your timing. When they face those difficulties, you are there to support them with these couple of cards. Okay. So the right moment, uh, my point here is, is that the right moment of action and the right moment of uh, exerting yourself, incorporating your efforts into the situation to improve it is going to come around. It just is going to take a little bit more meticulous performance and, ana and, and analysis as well. And also patience to wait for that thing or for the circumstances which are um, lingering just behind the corner to manifest themselves so you can take advantage. And before we go to the uh, last card, I want to give you a few examples uh, how this uh, week could manifest for yourself. Uh, Career-wise, uh, the way that I see this is that uh, maybe things aren't going very well regarding a certain project or in general for the place uh, that you are uh, that you are finding yourself at. Well, it's not. It may not be as ominous as I'm uh, displaying it right now. It could things could go very well, but there could be some you know wrangles and some little. Um, plights here and there uh, into your uh, into your career, and uh, suddenly for throughout the week, uh, things are to start turning into your favor. And in that case, uh, will be best to play your cards smart rather than hard, and uh, take full advantage with minimum uh, efforts. You know, incorporated. So basically, you Aries throughout this week should work smart rather than uh, working hard as well and you should pray you should you should stalk your prayer no no different than uh, a lion who is um, stalking a herd of uh, of bison for example you know they patiently wait in the long grass until the right moment comes around same thing you need to do as well and for the relationship i already say it uh, if things are going downhill regarding your relationship for throughout this week, you are to have that moment of weakness in there that your partner has and you need to be there to support them. So that being said, going to the last card here, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot, the world card is the point to solidifying and consolidating your current situation, finalizing it. So you are to finalize your relationship in a way. Well, finalizing many people are, are understanding every every person. What I'm what I'm trying to say here is understanding this card in a different way. Finalizing doesn't mean ending. Uh, finalizing means at least to me consolidating. So if you improve your relationship, that means that your relationship is going to be improved for a long time. Improving your career with the world card means that your career is going to be improved for a long time or the very least should you struggle with a project and now improve that project for throughout the week 
this card is a sign that this project is going to happen. Basically, it's going to be manifested, finalized and simply settled. And from there, you should think for new challenges and new perspective that are to emerge very, very soon. But should you follow that guidance, which I displayed you here, Aresis, with these cards, take advantage of the dynamic of the week and so on and so forth. The world, it's a... Um, it's a confirmation that you are going to get a, a huge miles, milestone regarding your goal. For example, your goal is to get married with the person you are with right now. Well, you are going to kind of reach a, a huge milestone about it. So maybe you will start talking about it. Maybe you are going to get engaged very, very soon after that and so on and so forth. The very least you are to make your partner see that you are truly there for them and you truly love them, if that's true, that is. The accompanied card with the world, that is going to be the Ten of Cups. The formation here is Passive Friends. And the only thing that the Eight of Cup, the, the Ten of Cups adds to the world is that you are to um, basically find yourself in a very good emotional state at that point, and you will be very, very pleased with uh, your achievements, with your goals, uh, with how much you advanced about your goals, with the milestone that you reach, and as well this uh, this combination itself. It does point that you are to make a resolution of a, a very, very troublesome and a big plight in your life if that is um, what you are after. So to me, Aries, is this week it does look like that you are to make um, a very severe breakthrough and very severe uh, um, advance uh, regarding improving the circumstances in your life. It is just, it, it will require a bit of patience and a bit um, cleverness as well, uh, utilizing the dynamic of the week and the surprises that are coming around uh, every single day and above everything else, these unexpected circumstances which are lurking just behind the corner. So that being said, guys, this is your weekly tarot reading for March 25th to March 31st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, that was a general reading for Aries star sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different Aries. But if you want more personal touch, uh, meaning your person, personal situation to be uh, analyzed by me through tarot, uh, and to give you a prediction for it for the future, well, that is the subject of a private reading. And for such, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you can find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing, which are starting from just as little as $12. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.